Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to take our logic from the last example and we would like to move it into the respective modules. So we're going to do some procedure-oriented programming right over here. So let me declare some bunch of methods that I would like to use here. Public static void instantiate all. This will going to be an employee object array. And I could be using the same name or I could be using different names. It doesn't really matter because as you have learned in the past, there's nothing in the names. It is only about the data type. Now I could very well be simply cutting this logic out of here. So this entire logic of instantiation. And I'll paste this logic right over here in the instantiate all method. And all I now need to do in the main is to be able to call this method called instantiate all and pass my entire object array into this method. Now one of the benefits about passing an array into another array is that arrays are passed by reference when you pass an array into an array. That means whenever you make changes to one array, the other array automatically, the receiving array if makes any changes, the passing array automatically receives those changes because they do share their memory blocks. So that is one of the great benefits of using an array in pass by reference is what we call because then you do not need any return statements because both items are always linked in terms of memory so you don't have to return a value back. You only return a value back when a passer and receiver do not share a memory which is the case in case of variables. So that pretty much takes care of that logic. Similarly, I will going to be creating other sets of modules, public, static, void, set all. So I would like to utilize this to set all my objects of employee type. And similarly, I will going to cut my entire logic of setter and move it right here. And I'll replace that with simply a call to set all and pass an amps. And then I will going to code another method call public static void display all, which will also going to receive an array of employee class objects and we will like to move this last piece of logic outside of the main into this method display all. So whatever logics were in the main I just moved them into these three respective methods and now I will going to call display all right from the main. So now you can see that how clutter free your main has actually turned out to be and all this logic has been moved into the respective object method, I mean like class methods. And now main only needs to call these methods. It doesn't matter whatever is the size of the employee array, all these methods will, will adapt to that size because I'm passing an array into an array. So now if I try to run this program, we're going to work exactly the same way as it was working before with no difference. The only difference is now your main has become so much cleaner. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.